Songwriting is probably the most fun I get to have as an artist because when you're writing either by yourself or with other people, you're constantly seeing like a string of ideas flow past you. And it's like little muses, or as a mentor of mine used to say, the genius is coming to visit you. And it's your responsibility to pick which one of those ideas feels the best and you think will sound the best. Pull it down, suggest it to your collaborators, see if it resonates or not and if it resonates in the room then it's super likely to resonate with your fans so i'm really lucky that most of my songs came to me on days where i had already shown up every single day waiting for an idea to come and i feel like a good one never came and all of a sudden it was like it just appeared and i was like that one pulled it in made a song from it as both an independent artist and a songwriter, I love to talk about the fact that who you collaborate with is super important. I've had the fortunate experience of collaborating with people who I think are amazing and who have done my songs a lot of justice and we've written some incredible things together, but it took a lot of hard sessions and moments where I didn't feel like I was comfortable enough to say no to something. It's really important for me to maintain my autonomy as an artist. Sometimes you want to say no to something and you don't know how, and we feel scared or afraid, but it's really important to be able to look someone in the eye and tell them that an idea might be great, but it just might not be for you. And maybe you can offer an alternative solution or something else to try and see if you're a compatible fit for working together. And if you're not, that's totally okay and it's really important to know that you can leave a situation or feel like you don't need to continue working with someone who might not fit your project. That's perfectly fine as long as everybody's kind and amicable. I think we unfortunately spend a lot of time thinking that we need to fit into somebody else's box or be someone that somebody else wants us to be. The reality is that who we are is amazing. If I was going to try to be anybody else's artist, then I wouldn't be me. I think what I have to offer, just like what any other artist has to offer, is unique and special and shouldn't be stifled by somebody else's opinion. You don't have to fit inside of their box. Sometimes I feel like my instrument has seen more sides of me than my ex-boyfriends or my family, even some of my really close friends. It just sees me when I'm in the most pain, when I'm most elated, when I'm processing things that sometimes are too hard to process alongside other people. I come to my guitar first. I'm excited. I feel excited for the world to hear it, for people to roll down their windows and jam to this in the car when they're feeling like, screw you and all the other people who have ever made me feel less than who I am. This song's for you. One of my favorite things to do is to think about my ex's face when he realizes the song is about him. It's the best feeling.